First of all, Mel, um, everybody likes to talk about legacies. I, I, I'm not big on legacy, and um, I don't. I learned a long time ago. I, I just get up in the morning and try to help people, and I, you know, I, I don't care about who gets credit for it. But I think if someone looks back at what we were able to do in the last four years, and say that Virginia, our administration has been one of the most progressive administrations, whether it be you know, repealing the death penalty or the criminal justice work that we did, protecting our workers, embracing diversity, making Virginia a more open and inclusive state. We've done that and at the same time had a, you know, just a, a really strong economy. And so we've proven that you can do both. And, and I think if anybody goes back and looks at, you know, what we've been able to do, that, that's probably what will stand out. And do you think those things are under threat? Oh, yeah, yes, yeah, so I'm sorry. Um, I don't. And the reason uh, being because what I have done, what our administration has done, has been the result of listening and, I mean, whether it be campaigning or, you know, after I became governor and, and, and learning and, and just delivering on what Virginians were asking for. And I think if, you know, it, it gives the governor-elect uh, a tremendous opportunity to build on what we've been able to accomplish and also a responsibility uh, to build on that progress. And if he doesn't, you know, take that responsibility and, and continue the progress, then it's going to, uh, the, the pendulum will swing back very quickly, I believe.